Hi folks, Peter Haddock here. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm joining Richard Bradbury in the gator that's taking us round. Yes, you've guessed it, the Hillhead Show. We're in full effect here at Hillhead right now, aren't we? And we're going to have such a huge show. Over 600 exhibitors are going to be at the show here. And um, as we drive around, you might see um, going past myself and Richard, we're trying out new technologies. Look, a solar powered security system from Bowwatch. Fantastic to see you doing that. This is part of what you're trying to do at the show, isn't it? Be more sustainable, try yeah. new things. Yeah, I mean, it's really important that we, you know, de do our bit in driving down our carbon footprint. Yep. And uh, we're experimenting with some solar panel technology this year, the lighting towers. All of the indoor stands are going to be powered with HVO fuel yep. this year. HVO. Uh, we're encouraging, obviously, lift share um, to you know reduce the amount of journeys that are being made to Hillhead. Uh, we're also taking out um, single-use plastics across the site. What's really important about all of this, Richard, is it's been four years. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot has changed in the industry. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of new technologies coming in, but Hillhead has actually got bigger. It has, yeah, yeah, it has, um, both indoors and outdoors. Um, the registration pavilion now is actually slightly larger than the main pavilion for the first time. Right. So we've got 130 exhibitors in there and the registration area. This area to the left here, we've got extra space outdoors as well. We've actually taken a little bit of the demonstration area to move some, um, to create some more plots. You can see CDE washing plant going up here on the left hand side. Beaker's there as well. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Beaker, yeah. exactly. Uh, new, slightly redesigned demo area here on the left. Um, we're also putting in a hardwired uh, fibre optic solution throughout, throughout the whole of the site this year as well for the first right. time. Yeah. I've said in my posts already, yeah. Richard, it's, yeah. a, it's the most connected hillhead yeah. we've yeah. ever seen. We're in yeah. a quarry, folks. You yeah. know, you're never going to get great connection, but you've actually got in a whole. Wired yeah, system. we're just so going over one of the ducks now, actually. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. We put several kilometres of um, cable uh, so we can provide, uh, you know, an, uh, either Wi-Fi or, or connected wired solution to all the exhibitor stands, you know. Seeing Roto Tilt there, um, yep. just to the side of us, folks, they've got their stand up. Um, we're here on the Friday before the first, the big build week. Uh, Richard, people yep. are already starting to build some of the bigger stands here, but next week's really going to be a massive yep. week for yeah, you, isn't it? Yeah, We've, what we try and do the first week of the main build is get the bigger structures in, um, start getting the, the larger frame lifts uh, completed, um, so the uh, infrastructure is in, uh, and obviously most of the outdoor exhibitors and all of the indoor exhibitors come in from next week. But yep. also, Woo, 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 folks! We've got some hotspots coming, yep. haven't we? Yep. They're Wi-Fi hotspots for yep. the visitors yep. as well. Yeah, there's six Wi-Fi hotspots dotted around the uh, around the site. Um, various places you'll see them on the you are here boards. That should make it, you know, easier to keep in touch whilst you're at the show. And don't forget, people, keeping in touch is all about social media. What we're doing today, get some videos out, share as much as you can for those people that can't make the show. But what's interesting, Richard? We're talking before we jumped in the car. Registrations are up on yeah. 2018, quite significantly, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, 2018 was our best ever attended show. We had just under 20,000 in 19,700 or so. Um, we're a couple of percent above that so far in, at the same period. Still a couple of weeks to go. Um, you know, we'd be delighted if we get similar vista numbers to last time. And what's really interesting is you've been able to accommodate more stands and more exhibitors. There's another one, the Louis Gong, just going back there, my friends at Louis Gong, give you a wave. Uh, basically, you've been able to get more exhibitors in here. So there's over 600 exhibitors. Yeah. That's a big, big jump, isn't it, from what yeah. was before? Yeah, well, we've, we've expanded in three different areas, but the biggest extension outdoors is towards the quarry face, uh, where we've extended the showground 30 metres which has created another 3,000 metres of space. You've got people now, as well as a show, that are using Hillhead for their European launch yep. of yep. products, aren't they? Yeah. So, you know, tell us about some of the people that are doing that. Sure, we've got a few European launches that are planned uh, for the show. Uh, some of them are still 
confidential, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, Aztec, uh, American uh, screen crushing manufacturer, they're using Hillhead to, to launch their range into the market. We've also yeah. got the friends at, uh, at uh, Finlay, who yeah, are now Finlay, yeah. uh, instead of Terex Finlay, they're launching their rebrand. Volvo has got an electric village going on. That's new because since 2018, there's been a lot of electric launch, hasn't there? Yeah. And there's a lot of that sort of stuff coming through, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, all of the major manufacturers now are offering at least hybrid solutions, and, yep. you know, and, and uh, it's only going to increase, you know, that, that whole momentum towards reducing uh, carbon footprint with, with the fuel is, uh, you know, really in its infancy still. Yeah. And this is a great platform to show that off. Komatsu are here in a big way. They've got a big hybrid fleet. Um, who's the stand? Hitachi. That's coming, Hitachi. Yep. They've not brought their machines yet, but they're building right here, right next to the, the, the big demo area. We're sat in the area which would have been in the quarry face four years ago. They, we, we did a 30,000 tonne blast. That created a little bit more space, but we've also moved into the quarry face area, which have got very big over successive shows. Look at how great that looks. Yeah, I mean, we've got 20 different manufacturers um, demonstrating in this area. Wow. What we've got over here is a, a whole new setup from Lieber. What I love about this, I mean, look at it. It's all glass, isn't it, Richard? This is about having something that's purely visual that people can really get an understanding of what's going on, isn't it? Great to see that as a double decker as well. Yeah. Right there looking at the demo area. As we go and uh, continue to go around, folks, you know, for me, you can see how much effort has been made into the surface now. We're going to spin around and uh, let's see if we can go past these guys here. Uh, on to my right, folks, uh, we've got the Big Bell stand as well. We've got City First here, a tyre business ready, raring to go. Tyres are really important. Again, it's a big part. It is a quarry show after all, we're, and we're in a quarry. So these sort of things are great. Now, part of the setup, folks, which you don't see, and which is why I'd love to do this behind the scenes piece, is the fact that you've got a crane. We've got the whole crane setup. McClanahan. McClanahan, there yeah. we go. Yeah. And, and they've got the, uh, the crane in here that's setting up their whole demonstration area. This is what the setup's all about, yeah, isn't it? absolutely. We've got some really heavy kit in here, yeah. haven't we? We've got uh, three very large sort of leading uh, washing plant manufacturers at Hillhead this year, all putting up plant. McClanahan's here on my left. Uh, Terex Washing Systems, right. and also at the top, CDE Global, which you went past. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Always the very important uh, elements to the show, <laughs> the toilets, folks, over here at Wernick Events, helping you again there uh, with this one this year. So we've now parked up, folks, and it's a time for me to say a, a little bit about the heritage of yeah. Hillhead. Yeah. You know, this yeah. is the hashtag 40 years of Hillhead. Yeah. That's a long time. It is it, a long isn't time. It, it is know. a long time. And, you know, we're absolutely delighted to be celebrating our 40th anniversary. Yeah. You know, a lot of history. Launched, of course, back in 1982 uh, by Jack Berridge yeah, and his yeah, team, yeah, yeah. you know, and um, really special event. I mean, I, I started getting involved in the early 2000s with QMJ and Jack took me under his wing. And it's been, an, you know, an absolute privilege, really, to work with the show and to see it grow show on show to what it is today. You couldn't believe it, could you? It was raining a minute ago, and now it's sun is coming out. That's what Hillhead That's is like. Yeah, but guess what? The, <laughs> guess what arrived today, folks? We had a phone call earlier, didn't we, Richard? We did. How many ponchos arrived? Yeah, 8,000. Uh, <laughs> that's right, yeah, biodegradable ponchos. Yes. 8,000, folks. So don't worry. Do do that preparation. If it is sunny, bring the sun cream. Yeah. If it is raining, make sure you get your, your cagoule out. And yeah. as I've seen, the, 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 the whole site is that little bit bigger now. So those safe pair of shoes absolutely. and the comfy shoes absolutely. important isn't it yeah definitely walking boots are great you know yeah. uh, don't come in flip-flops no, no, no i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> but you know thanks so much for letting me come and have a behind the scenes look not many people get to see this at all at this stage have a great week next week Thank whereby you. you're setting up and you know i wish you all the best for the show it's going to be tremendous about time we all got back talking folks forget about these videos get face to face Thanks to Richard and his team. Cheers, Richard. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs>